So the next problem is example 6.1. A mains transformer having a turns ratio 44 is to 1 is connected to a 220 volt RMS main supply. If the secondary output is applied to half wave rectifier, determine the peak voltage that will appear across the load. Okay. So what is given in your problem? Given the mains transformer is having the turns ratio. That is, what is the turns ratio? Number of primary turns turns is to number of secondary turns is given right secondary turns is equal to that is n1 divided by n2 which is equal to 44 is to 1 that is 44 by 1 okay now is connected to 220 volt RMS main supply so we know that VP the primary voltage is equal to 220 volt okay now no other data is given what you have to find out you have to find out the peak voltage determine the peak voltage peak voltage across secondary across secondary that is your question okay okay now so what do you know the equation of uh, uh, transformer that is the primary voltage, the ratio of the primary voltage to the secondary voltage is equal to the number of turns of primary to the secondary. So what is given? VP is given. From this you have to, we can find out the primary voltage of your um, secondary. It is nothing but your RMS voltage. So your RMS uh, secondary voltage is equal to voltage is equal to so from this equation 1 from equation 1 Vs is equal to what will be your Vs Vs is equal to n1 into Vs is equal to n2 into Vp therefore Vs is equal to n2 divided by n1 into Vp so what is your uh, n2 n2 is equal to 1 right 1 into what is your Vp Vp is equal to 220. So 220 divided by what is your N1 is equal to 44. Which is equal to 220 divided by 44. So can we cancel by 11? 11th table. Okay. So 220 you will be getting 4. Again 2 twos are 4. 1 2 is to 0. 5 twos are 10. So I am getting the voltage is equal to RMS voltage across the secondary is equal to 5 volt. Okay. From this now can you calculate the peak uh, voltage at the um, uh, what side? Ref, uh, rectifier side. So we have to find out the peak voltage. So we have derived it in the last derivation right. It is given by the PK which is equal to the peak voltage developed after rectification developed after rectification so what is the formula hope you are remembering the formula vpk is equal to root 2 into vrms this is equal to vrms across secondary so what is the value 14 1.414 into vrms is equal to 5 volt right so if we do 1, 4, 1, 4 into 5, 5, 4 are 20, 1, 5 is 5, 6, 7, 5, 4 are 20, 1, 5 is 5, 6, 7. So after decimal you have how many digits? You have 3 digits. So shift 3 digits towards your left. So the value will be equal to 7.070 volt. This is your answer. Okay. BPK. So you got VPK is equal to 7.070 volt. But what you have to find out, determine the peak voltage that will appear across the load. Okay. So practically when you take, you your uh, diode uh, will not conduct at uh, 1 volt or 0 volt. So if I assume that it is a silicon diode. Okay. Silicon di diode, then the voltage drop will be across 0.6. The diode conducts... Uh, starts to conduct at 0 0.6 volt. Therefore, I can tell that the original value of the PK across the load will be equal to what is the value? You have got 7.07 .07 volt minus 0 0.6 volt. 
So what will be the answer? 7.07 minus 0.6, right? So 7, 10, 9, sorry, 6, so 6 point. 47 volt 6.47 volt will be the voltage peak voltage across your load